Please go ahead and pause the video and just reread the problem before listening on. We have to calculate the magnitude of the change in the electric potential energy of an electron that is moving between the ground and the cloud. And we were told that there is an electric potential difference between the ground and the cloud, and it is given by this value right here. So what we have done is we have said that the ground has an initial electric potential of zero volts and a final electric potential of 1.2 billion volts. Now, to get the change in potential energy of a moving charge, that is a charge moving from a lower to a higher potential or vice versa, we can say that the change in that electric potential energy is equal to the charge multiplied by the final electric potential subtracted by the initial electric potential. So in other words, the difference in the electric potential between the two points. Now we have the values for the electric potentials shown in the picture. We know that this charge is an electron, so we know the value of Q. We can actually go ahead and calculate by plugging in the values. And when we compute that, we can see that the change in electric potential energy for the electron is negative 1.92 times 10 to the negative 10. And then, of course, the standard unit of energy is joules. Now, a couple of things to note. The question wanted the magnitude of the change in the electric potential energy. So we're actually going to take the absolute value of both sides of the equation in order to get the magnitude. And, of course, that just makes the change in potential energy or the magnitude I should say of the change in electric potential energy equal to positive 1.92 times 10 to the minus 10 joules and then the other thing to note is that the question wanted the answer expressed in electron volts so we have to do a unit conversion here this is a good opportunity to learn the conversion between joules and electron volts so of course it turns out that one electron volt is equivalent to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So let's go ahead and compute it. And when we multiply by the conversion factor, the joules will cancel out, leaving us with electron volts. And computing this value, we now get about 1.2 times 10 to the power of nine. That will be in electron volts. If your homework system wants giga electron volts, we can do that. So we'll do one more conversion here, one giga electron volts is 10 to the power of 9 electron volts. So basically a giga of anything is a billion of that thing, in this case electron volts. So we cancel out the electron volts and we arrive at our final answer for the magnitude of the change in electric potential energy. It turns out to be 1.2 giga electron volts.